I said in a previous video, uh, I downloaded and installed Zoom from the New Line App Store uh, on the panel. So I actually have Zoom uh, on the panel. I can run it from the embedded side. And that's what we're going to do here is we're going to fire up Zoom and see what that looks like when you're running it directly from the panel itself as opposed to running it from a connected source like a computer. So to get to it, of course, it's an app on the panel. So where do we go? We go to the app screen. So we go and we swipe over to that. And then there's Zoom right there. So I'm going to fire it up. And now for the sake of brevity, I've already logged into Zoom. Uh, but from here, there really isn't anything to tell you about running Zoom because that's what you're doing. I mean, it's, it's really exactly like running Zoom on a phone or a tablet. And that's actually one of the things I wanted you to know was that we're using mobile Zoom because that's what we have on the, on the panel. It's a, it's, a, it's a mobile operating system, therefore we're running mobile apps. So that's the difference between this Zoom and the desktop class Zoom that you would run on a computer. Uh, but we can do things the way that we would normally do them. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up a new meeting and start it with the start button here. And now I'm in a meeting. If I had, and I don't in this case have my camera connected, but if I had the optional camera for the Z series connected, I could absolutely use that here and have that be part of the meeting if I chose to so we can see whoever's in the room. Uh, but the thing that I really wanted to talk about here is sharing screens because what's interesting about that is something that we can do using this version of Zoom on the panel versus using Zoom on a connected computer is we have more options with the types of things that we can share. And here's what I mean by that. So here, if I hit the share button, I have the option to share the whiteboard that's in Zoom, which I could also do on desktop Zoom if I wanted to. And so, yeah, Zoom's got its own whiteboard. It's got those whiteboard tools that you can use in screen annotation mode. So if I were sharing the screen itself, which I'm gonna do here in a second, uh, I could use those annotation tools as well. They're very simple, uh, but they're very easy to use. So that's certainly an option that we have. But the difference here is that when I share my screen, watch what happens. It's gonna give me a little message here and I'm gonna hit start and it takes me to the panel's home screen. And that's what's actually happening here, is since I'm running Zoom on the panel, when I share the screen, I'm actually sharing the panel screen. If I were running Zoom on a computer connected to the panel, I would not be sharing this screen, I'd be sharing my computer's desktop. And there's your difference right there. Because when we're running computer Zoom, we can't use embedded tools. I couldn't use the panel's whiteboard or the panel's whiteboard tools in screen annotation mode because Zoom on the computer can't see these things. But Zoom on the panel can. And so that's really one of the interesting things about doing it this way is that you do have the option of using the panel's whiteboard or using the panel's screen annotation tools over some piece of content that you have on the screen. And that's an option that you wouldn't have uh, using desktop Zoom. So that's kind of an interesting aspect to this is that using these tools, you have more options with working with information. So running Zoom uh, on the panel is pretty much exactly like you would run it if you were on a phone or a tablet, but you have the added benefit of being able to share panel tools and use the convenience of those tools in your Zoom meetings.